Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today I am going to just tell you about reducing and non-reducing sugars and identification of reducing and non-reducing sugars gives a lot of impact in NEET examination multiple choice questions. So it carries 4 marks, 1 question from NEET examination. Get ready, before going for the reducing and non-reducing sugar, I just want to show you the score examination, India's largest scholarship examination. Why this? This is India's largest scholarship examination because this scholarship examination gives you a scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and a study setup and laptop and educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship. And you may be a student of Infinity Land or you may be from any school or college still you are eligible to write this examination. Why it is? For every student and it is purely online examination, you can write this examination at home and in the description box link is available. Everybody just click and apply for the form and enjoy all the facilities given by this infinity land. Thank you and all the best for this examination and moreover I just want to present you NEET 2025 All India Test Series Preparation and in this test series preparation I would say whenever you are preparing for any examination it is required to understand what you are in position and for that you need a proper assessment for your test so that it NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack is given by Infinity Lane by Sri Chaitanya which includes 27 AITS examination in that 13 unit test, 4 part test and 10 grad tests are available totally based on new, new syllabi and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test and 25 topic wise NEET PYQs and 3 physics chemistry biology books and along with video solutions and app and detailed solutions and your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students. These many facilities we are going to give, Infinity Learn is going to give you just for 5999 and on the special discount if you apply a coupon code YouTube 50 off you are going to get 2999 it's a very simple and in the description box link is available you all enjoy your test preparation and boost your score in the neat examination all the best and before going for that i just want to say reducing and non reducing sugar what is a reducing sugar the sugar or a carbohydrate which reduces failing solution or a tolerance uh, solution is said to be reducing sugar and uh, this sugar should have the aldehyde free aldehyde group or free amy acetal group is a reducing sugar then what is a non reducing sugar it is carbohydrates containing free aldehyde group or ketone functional groups are thus termed as reducing sugars and also the main example for the reducing sugar is glucose fructose maltose and lactose and let's talk about non-reducing sugar, the sugars which do not react with failing solution or a Benedict solution is said or a Tolan solution is said to be a non-reducing sugar. And they don't have a free aldehyde group or they don't have any acetal linkages. And uh, the major non-reducing sugars are nothing but trehalose, starch and sucrose. In the NEET examination, you will be asking a question like which of the following is a reducing sugar, which of the following is a non-reducing sugar. So let's see what exactly happened. This is a Tollens test, you can say. Tollens test ammonical silver nitrate solution. Silver nitrate solution in the ammonium hydroxide, it is added so that glucose, so glucose is going to give you gluconic acid. So Tollens reagent is an oxidizing agent so that glucose is oxidized to gluconic acid and this reduces silver into metallic silver. So the metallic silver can be visualized by taking the silver mirror on this. So it is a non-reducing sugar and it is a reducing sugar. This is how the test is being done. Let us see for uh, reducing sugar have their following characteristics. Is very important point and reducing sugar contain free aldehyde groups and the ketone groups as a functional group and allow undergo redox change. So they should have either free aldehyde group or they should have either free amy acetal linkages. So either this structure or this structure is required. 
then only it is going to give you this reducing uh, sugar property and also it can donate electron can act as reducing agent and also as a reducing sugar can donate electrons they are susceptible to get oxidized themselves and reducing sugars include all monosaccharides and a few disaccharides and also you can see reducing sugar participate in the Millard reaction and also examples you can see reducing sugar can reduce copper ions in failing test in Benedict's test. So copper 2 plus is converted into copper so that blue color solution is converted into red color and also uh, you can see tolerance test silver mirror is formed that already we have seen and glucose maltose and lactose are the examples you can see reducing sugar examples it's a glucose in the ring structure of glucose you can see this is a free hemi acetal linkage so that that structure itself can say no need to identify as a glucose everybody may be knowing this is a glucose by looking at shaded part this is the structural aspect is required and monosaccharide is the primary source of energy for the living organisms and glucose is said to be a simple blood sugar and a fruit sugar and also you can say fructose even in the fructose another monosaccharide commonly found in the fruits and you can say this this is going to be ring opened then ring opened then it is going to give you the failing test or a tolerance test is found in the fruits and the honey and also you can say maltose a dicyclate composed of two glucose molecules it is produced during the digestion of the starch and there you can see Hemiacetal linkage, hemiacetal linkage is seen. So it is going to be reducing sugar. And also you can say lactose, a disaccharide composed of glucose and galactose is found in the milk. It is a reducing sugar. Now you can see it is a reducing sugar. And in today's class, we have seen what is a reducing sugar, what is a non-reducing sugar and what is the structural aspect that are required to say a sugar to be reducing or non-reducing and you will be having a question which of the following is a reducing sugar by name or by structure we have to identify so like that you stay tuned for everyday sessions a small topic we are going to take and explain the simple tricks to identify that catch point stay tuned and please like the session and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity land youtube channel and Thank you very much. Thank you.